Hello YouTubers and welcome to today's video. Today's video is kind of a fun video for me because I have never done interiors before really as far as uh, reupholstering seats. So I needed to reupholster the rear seats on the Cutlass which is a 68 convertible and I wanted to do it myself. I was able to fortunately find the uh, seat covers uh, there's a short supply now after COVID, so um, I was lucky and they had mine in stock. So I got it in. I got the uh, the foam and all the materials that I need, so I'll cover that next. I'll show you how I did it, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the process. All right, now I want to go over everything that you're going to need to do this project. Um, there's not a lot, but the main components are, obviously, you're going to need the foam. So I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. All the materials that you see that actually go into the seat were picked up from Hobby Lobby. You can find this stuff on sale. Uh, it's marked on here, $50. But, you know, you never have to usually pay full price there. There was coupons and everything. And uh, I paid close to probably $30 for that. Probably about $5, 6 for that. And that's the polyfoam. That fills up any spots that... <clears throat> don't get completely that need puffed out or anything while you're doing your project of course I had to have a, sog, a set of hog wing pliers and the hog rings um, I picked up the Amazon along with the high strength uh, contact uh, adhesive uh, there's some basic tools that you need um, nothing too significant I got a pair of these nippers here just so I could cut the uh, listing wire uh, uh, some clamps to hold down the uh, seat while you're working on it. Just makes it easier to put things together. A paint pen, uh, uh, some wire brush, pliers, a knife to cut the foam, and some measuring. Underneath there, you're going to see the felt. <clears throat> Whenever you're doing the bottom of the seat cover, you should put felt around the edges. I picked up a yard of that at uh, Hobby Lobby for probably... I don't know, I think it was like four or five dollars a yard. And then I picked up about four yards of the burlap. Because not only am I doing these two seats, but I'm also doing the front seats. So uh, the bucket's in the front. I just don't have the materials to do everything yet. So we're just doing the backs for now. Also, <clears throat> obviously, you're going to need the seat covers. Now for me, I use PUI. Uh, it's about a middle of the road um, price tag as far as seats go. And then also you'll need the listing wire. And I picked that up from Amazon too. It's pretty reasonable. And it's only like 10 to $15, somewhere in that range for about 10 meters of the stuff. So <clears throat> that's everything you're gonna need uh, to do this project. Uh, you're gonna need two rolls of this foam. One roll for the top and one roll for the bottom of the seats. Uh, so I think that's everything. Let's get the uh, seat together all right well the first thing to do is to remove all the hog rings off the seat so let me get them all out of the way now it's time to take off the cover once the cover's off i'll remove all the batting and then we'll remove the um, burlap too now there are some additional hog rings that you're going to have to contend with with the batting but a little time and patience and you'll get the rest of them off and then on this one the listing wire there is listing wire inserted inside of the burlap it's a special kind of burlap um, so you'll just have to take your time to get it all off now remove the rest of the hog rings that hold on the burlap and take it off now there's just one piece of burlap left on it which we'll see in a second here there is one three inch thin strip of burlap that is on here that we're going to have to make note of how it's made it's got listing wire running through the top of it and through the bottom of it it's a sewn piece so you're going to have to re replicate this unless yours is in good shape i probably could have used mine but i decided to replace everything so i want to get rid of these old rusty uh, hog rings and also i needed to paint and repair you know the frame so it's just better for me to remove it well, now that everything's been stripped off the frame, it's time to inspect the frame, 
make sure that you fix any springs that may be broken. I'm lucky this is the back rest. Um, there really wasn't any damage to the frame, but it, there was some rust on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this rust barrier paint on here to, uh, to make it look okay. All right, after it's been all cleaned up, and I did take a wire brush and w brushed off the uh, the metal, um, just going through here and spraying on a couple of quick coats of the uh, primer. All right, with all the prep done, uh, it came out looking fine. So now it's time to go ahead and start making the pieces. So the first piece to make is that three inch strip. So let's work on that. This is the piece that I told you about that came off. This is the factory stuff, still has the hog rings in it. It's three inches across here. So I cut one about uh, four and a half inches so that you have about three quarters of an inch to roll over because you got to put the listing wire in here. There's a listing wire that runs the whole way of it on both sides, so both on the top and the bottom. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready and put the listing wire in and do the sewing that's going to be required for that. So that's the next step. All right, now to get this ready to sew, we are just creasing it over like about three quarters of an inch and uh, putting some pins to hold it in place while we sew it. All right, well, we got one part of it um, sewn. So the stitches are, you know, kind of far apart, probably around a half inch apart, and I did it on both sides. So go down the whole thing. I got the listing wire as soon as I get the uh, other half done. So now I just got to fold this up, pin it, sew it, and then I'll have this piece ready to go in after the listing wire goes in, of course. Well, all the sewing is done now. Now it's time to put the listing or get the listing wire ready to... Um, go in so I just hang out the listing wire just a little bit over each edge maybe about an inch or so cut it um, and then run it through and so you put one at the top one at the bottom like I said it's hanging out about an inch or something around that neighborhood um, and then we're going to take it over to the seat and uh, put it on so let's get ready to do that well, there won't be any way that I'll be able to um, like film this and get there in there any closer than I can right now. So I'll just kind of explain the procedure. Then we'll look over. There's these raised pieces of steel right here that are meant for this piece here for this bottom edge. So I'm going to be coming in and hog ringing the listing wire down here at the bottom to this clip here. And then the other part of the listing wire will be clipping up here and it's probably going to pull the spring down a little bit but that's just the way it is i measured this out it's three inches across that's what the original was so whatever it is so i'm going to get a few started along here along the bottom then pull this top down and all right so just like i said i put in one here one here and then I just pulled down the spring a little bit, put one here and one here. And when I'm shooting for these hog rings, I'm shooting for the center of this thing so that the hog ring has some room to, to move around. So I'll hog ring it down and come into the top here. And then of course I have a hog ring here and then directly up from that I have another hog ring. So that's how I'm gonna do this around. And then when I get around to this point, there is one around this corner here. So I'll be bending this listing wire around here just to make that fold around there. And that should be it. So let me go ahead and get that done. All right, it's in now. And I went around and I cut those corner pieces like I talked about, attached it. So there's basically, for every one on the bottom, there's one on the top. And I think it fits in there pretty good. Pretty happy with the way that that's in there. And uh, and then I trimmed off the pieces of uh, listing wire that was hanging out. So it's a it's about cut right there. I don't want, and, and it's right here. So I don't want it poking through the material. So that's what that's about. Okay, so the next, pe next uh, thing is to lay a piece of burlap over the top and then we'll clip it on here. So um, let's get set up for that. All right, so basically I've just taken the burlap and laid it over the springs here and uh, cut it so it hangs about two or three inches over on all sides. 
that way I'll have you know some extra to play with and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, on the top surface here I'm going to go around and and uh, uh, hit it with the uh, with the hog ring so I'll hog ring around the top so that this cover can't move along the top here so uh, let me get that started go ahead and hog tie this particular one about every foot so I feel the spot there that feels all right I'll just Put it on I'm gonna go around the entire frame here and just about an every foot that's about all you need find out you can feel where these springs come in and uh, just hit it up all right now I flipped it over and I'm gonna go over what um, how I'm gonna attach this so this is the bottom of the back so I'm going to go over and I'm going to attach it here. Now there's two bars. One, this is where the seat cover is going to get attached to the closest one. So as we make the fold around, we're going to skip this top one and be in favor of hog tying it or hog ringing it back here. So this will wrap around and it'll get under there and we'll catch it there. That way we know this bar right here we'll be able to use for the seat cover. And then I'll just fold it underneath this this is how the seat attaches to the car. So we'll fold under there and then we'll, we'll hog ring it around there. All right, now for the corners, all I did was bring in the burlap and then attach it to the spring. So there's one that comes in from this side here and attaches to that spring and another one that attaches to this spring here. So that keeps those hog rings out of the way. Uh, and I need the dimensions for this. So it comes down to about 23 and then it comes down to about 20 20 you know, come up here 26 maybe slightly like 26 and a half the foam is and then I'm gonna add a few inches like about two to three on each side so we're at 49 if I add three that's 52 I had three more that's 55 so I'll cut a piece 55 inches long leave the width the way it is right now well I cut the foam so you can see the dimensions on the screen there now just to reiterate this is for a 68 cutlass convertible so your dimensions might slightly vary but uh, for mine I added six inches onto the widest part of the frame. So six plus the 49 made 55. So that's why the foam hangs over approximately three inches on each side. And it goes from the very bottom all the way over to the top. Now that's the section there that I made the special piece of, of stuff, uh, of uh, batting so that it wouldn't you know push down. And so you can see when I push this down, uh, it goes right to the base of the frame. So this is actually a perfect size for it. This is the bottom. You can always tell the bottom by that's where it mounts to the car. Um, it starts right here at the top. It hangs over about three inches on each side and that's going to fold around. So to give the uh, the seat cover the the you know the full bolster bolster in the sides that's what that's going to do all right well i think i'm all ready to go uh, i just want to go over something i had some of these wires like right on the corner these um, hog rings right on the corner so i did um pull them out of the corner and move them off to the side because i don't want any additional stress on the corners because they're already going to get pulled tight the way it is so we don't want anything causing any additional problems. So just relocated some hog rings there. I have the new piece of, of foam already cut. Sorry about all the camera movement. Um, like I said, that's the dimensions, 27 by 55. Um, I've already pre-marked the area. So this is the bottom of the back of the seat so I just have it running right the foam coming right up to the edge of here 
and then I have my black marks let me know where the center of this is so that lines up all right there now I'm just gonna take the uh, the cover and lay it out over here okay, the marks are lined up the first issue I see here is there's no cutouts to get the listing wire in here this is going to be the bottom of the seat cushion and there is no way to get the listing wire in there so i'm gonna to have to cut a little hole to get the listing wire in there but um i noticed on the other side well yeah right here there is a way so for around the loop around the top there is a way to get the listing wire in there but there is none for the bottom so i'm gonna to have to cut the slits and then get the listing wire ready to go in there so let me get set up all right, I cut a little slit here to get the listing wire in. All right. Okay, so now the listing wire is in there, and now I can roll it over and get the hog rings in. So let me get set up for that. All right, so the plan is now to line this up. I've got the listing wire down here, something to grab onto. Get the seat. I want to put two hog rings in, so I got everything centered up. And then I'm going to put a hog ring in. Right there. Things up pretty good. So now we lay it back down and try to get this other side done. Well, the next thing to do is to insert the listing wire, which I'm doing right now. I'm running it around the seat. So you put in the bottom of the seat uh, cushion there, and it'll come around back, do a U shape, and come back out the other then, other end. And then once I do that, I'll cut it off, and then we'll be ready to um, to uh, fold it over. Take my wire cutters and cut a little bit off here. Leave a little bit hanging out now until I know exactly how much I need. All right, with the listing wire in there, let me get my hog ring ready. I'm gonna bring over some clamps and I'm gonna hope that this helps me out squeeze this down. So the good thing is I got a good solid table underneath. I can rearrange this guy. I'm going to shoot for it in the center of these slots so that this material has some room to slide around. I'm right in the middle. There's one. If I can make it. We're going to go for it. Okay. All right. Now let me bring you over. All right, well, with the help of my clamps, I was able to get these two hog rings in the center of the eyelets, like I said, and underneath the listing wire. So there's the listing wire there. And if you couldn't see before, here's the listing wire here going up to the first, to the first um, part of the spring there. So the top part here. So now, 
it's just a matter of folding the corners in and then uh, continuing on with this. So let me get started. So I flipped the seat over and this is what I have. I got, you know, those four hog rings that I showed, two at the top, two at the bottom. And now it's just a matter of stretching this thing out. The listing wire is already in here. You can see it hanging out. Um, I'm going to try to fold the uh, corners around. So, all right, now you can see the top of the seat right there. So I want to get this foam underneath that part too so that it's catching that. I don't want this grabbing into the thing. So I'm just going to hold that under there. And then I'm going to try to put this pocket around. Okay, I'm going to try to put the pocket around on this, put my hand in it, try to put my hand into the pocket, making sure that I hold this foam around the edge. This is what I got so far, it's looking pretty decent. Um, I am doing this in the sun and it is warm out today, so that's helping me Definitely not hurting me. So now we flip the seat over and work from the inside out and Try to get this stretched out This is definitely the way to do it Remember, in the center of the holes, I'm aiming for it. Well, I'm working my way around. I've got uh, this about even. I need to do a couple of staples over here. Maybe I will do them. Maybe I'll finish this side up. Finish that side up and then work on getting the corners done these springs are taunt so being able to hold this down while you're working is like the best thing ever so definitely get yourself one of these if you plan on doing this job I'm going to staple one more time right here near the edge of this bar so and that'll that should be good for this side until I figure out how I'm going to do the corner so let me put one more in and that'll hold that all right well I got this side done so I, I made it around here. One thing I can tell you is the listing wire, since the listing wire goes from there all the way through, it makes it very difficult to make this bend. So I did not hit these two loops right here because that listing wire just isn't bending there. So that's something that <clears throat> I, I, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This corner is tight, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, over here, listing wire is hanging out and it really doesn't need to hang that far out. So I'm going to cut it off about right here. <clears throat> All right. So there. And I'm not going to worry about it. So that is how I finished off that side. And I just, on this side, I didn't have to use any helpers. I just pulled it up and folded it over and, and then stapled it. So um, let's take a view of what it looks like. I think that looks pretty decent. I haven't even done really any massaging at all. I'm liking the way the top looks and I'm liking the way the bottom looks. Um, it's looking very good looks to be as professional as I can get it uh, I'm not an upholster obviously but uh, I will say 
I don't think that looks too bad. So I definitely think this is a DIY job that you can do yourself. Um, so with that little bit of confidence, uh, let's get ready to do the, uh, the, the seat portion. All right, well, we're jumping right into the seat bottom now. I've got it all taken apart and uh, knocked all the rust off it and painted it. So it's ready to go. So let's get the burlap on it. Now let's put the burlap on it. I'll just open it up and then hang it over it and leave enough on the side. So probably leave about three inches hanging off of each side initially until I get it attached and then I will trim it up. So there's one more thing to do after you put on the uh, burlap and that's because this is the seat bottom around the edges, we're gonna wanna put that felt. So let me get it on there and then we'll put the felt on. So here I have the felt laid out and what I've done is I've measured out um, four inches and I'm cutting four inch strips out off the roll of felt that I had and I'll be running that along the border I'll be attaching them with uh, some some adhesive and then hog ringing them on there so let's see what that looks like so I'm spraying the, the felt piece first followed up by spraying some adhesive also on the burlap then place the strips on there folded them around and then hog ring the strips to the um to the frame so after that's done then we get ready for the foam i cut the piece of foam 57 by 23 as you can see there remember this is for a convertible um, so coupes and, and sedans will be different sizes um, then i mark the center of the foam against the center of the frame then i lay down the uh the seat material on top center it up and get it ready so that the listing wire can go in now on the back of the seat this is where the listing wire is going to go and we're going to press it down and we're going to hook it right here to this first after the first roll of the spring this bottom piece right here so this listing wire is going to get pulled down to here so um but first we got to put the listing wire in there there is no slot here to get it in. It's so sh shut by that. So we're going to cut a little slot here for the lifting wire to go in. Well, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going for this bottom, so where this U is, I'm gonna hog ring down here. So I'm gonna put two hog rings down in here. Here's the listing wire for that top. So I'm just gonna hog ring it somewhere in the center of that ring, right there, and then I'm gonna do it over here too. I'm going to go ahead and put the listing wire in for the seat and then we'll fold it around. So let me get ready for that. All right, let's run the listing wire. I've got the two hog rings down there, like I said. I've got this sitting in the heat. So. All right, so I can reiterate what's going on hopefully you can see that white mark that white mark is the center of the frame and we have to get it and this seam right here which is the center of the seat uh, together so this is not easy these do not want to go together so I need a little help 
from the jaws here to make sure that I can get this lined up. Let me get some hog rings here. So there's the center of the sheet. There's the center of this. There's my hog ring. And there you go. You have the center of the seat in the center of this hog ring thing. Those are tight. This is not easy. I don't to be extremely difficult without these friends here to help me. <laughs> All right, let's stretch the cover over again. Put my hand in the pocket. And then roll this over. Next what I'm going to do is try to attach a couple more hog rings along the back, keep it straight, and then start, you know, stretching this cover out. Well, I got all the hog ringing done on the sides. So each side has now been hog ring. So the only thing last left to do is the ends. Foam under here, pull that up there. Got to get this hog ring. Just under there. Pull the whisking wire over. Now the only thing to do is this back panel. But now I'm going to have to wait for the ring to stop. So let me shut, get ready and get this cleaned up. All right, well, my camera's giving me fits, but basically we need to place this, pull the strap up from where we put this down, flip it around here. It's already got a, some kind of listing wire, if you will, some kind of, some kind of something. Feels like nylon roll or something in there. So we are going to bring it up here and I'll bring it to the same springs that we used on the part we sunk down. So let me pull it out. There we go. Alright. For the other, or how are we going to end this? You can kind of see that nylon cord that's there. So we're going to use that to bring it in as close as we can. That's about the best we're going to do on that. All right, well, here's the way the bottom seat looks. Um, everything came out pretty decent. Um, uh, just a couple of places I had to massage. One was down here. Um, I'm not really sure what that really was, but uh, uh, I ended up putting some extra batting in here to kind of fill in any voids, and it helped. Um, outside of that, uh, the seat stretched over pretty good. I didn't have any problems with it. You know, I basically followed the same pattern that I did before. The only issue that I ran into slightly is this corner. Um, I wish there would have been a little bit more material here to pull around, but there wasn't. And um, 
I'm just gonna leave that like that. It's, it's put down pretty good, you know, it's held in place. The problem that you run into over here is that there's no frame to get into, so you, there's nothing to connect that to really. So um, I guess I could have folded it back on itself, but uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So, you know, like I said, I think it came out good. The front looks decent. Um, really happy with the material. It's an exact match to what it used to look like. So just minus without the rips and a whole lot feels a whole lot newer and uh, softer. So, yep, so that's it. So the next piece is to, uh, you know, to stick this in the car. There you go. There's the entire seat uh, put uh, together uh, basically without sitting in the car the way it's going to be. The only, I'm just waiting for this spot to, uh, to work its way out. Other than that, I've got to say, it came out pretty decent. I don't really see any issues. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the kit. The kit fits good. It looks like the original. It feels like the original. So I gotta say that's a win-win. Um, let me give you my closing thoughts. Well, as you might have seen in the video, um, I was able to accomplish this and I was pretty happy with the results of what I saw. So I would definitely say that this is a do-it-yourself project. I'm looking forward to doing the front seats too. Um, like I said earlier, COVID is, you know, made getting the fronts difficult. I might have to wait a few months for it. But in the meantime, I got the next project lined up for the car. So, um, but getting back on the seats, the seats were a good project. It'll take a little time. Um, as long as you um, try some of the tips that I put in the video, especially using those little clamps on there. If you don't have that clamp, I guess you just put your full weight of your body over top of the seat and press down, try to hog ring it. But uh, the clamps definitely were the way to go for me. And uh, outside of that, I think, you know, most people could probably do this project. So good luck with yours. And until the next one, guys, ciao. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. And if you like this video, please remember to like and add any additional comments. So until next time, guys.